Hello again, it's Riley, and we are on page five of Essential Elements. So let's just jump right into a few things. Now we're going to introduce what's called the double bar, which is at the very end of your piece of music. All that tells you is that the piece of music is finished. Now, we could also have a repeat sign that looks like a double bar with two dots. And what that means simply is play it again, repeat it, right? As easy as that. So we'll come to that one soon. But let's do number seven first. It's another new note. This is D with fingers one and three. Here we go. We're just gonna hold it out, rest. Hold it out, rest. We're sitting up straight in a ready position. We're gonna count ourselves in and breathe on four. One, two, three. Rest, two, three. Rest, two, three. As easy as that. Now, let's do number eight, four by four. We're going to have D, E, F, and G. Not necessarily in that order on this one. So if you look at the very end of the line, we have a repeat sign, those two dots on the double bar. What does that mean? We repeat it. Here we go. We're gonna play all the way through this with the repeat. One, two, three. Great job, you did it with the repeat. That's wonderful. Now, our last new note that we are going to learn right now is C. Just like before, we're gonna hold it out, rest. Hold it out, rest. C, like G, has no fingers. The difference is air speed. You're gonna be using more relaxed air for this low C. Sounds like this. So, Let's go through number nine together, match my pitch, and we will sit up straight in a ready position. Here we go. One, two, three. Rest, two, three. Rest, two, three. Great job. Let's move right on to number 10. This does have a repeat sign. Be careful, you have to look kind of at the end of the song to find the repeat sign. This has a repeat sign and it will have C, D, E, F, and G. So keep your eyes peeled, look at the changing notes and make sure you know what's going on and which fingerings to use. Here we go. We're gonna do it with the repeat, sitting up straight. We'll count in and breathe on four. Ready? Number 10. One, two, three. There you go, great job. Now, if you look at this big yellow box, this is some music theory. We have a couple new symbols that you need to know about. We have the treble clef, which just tells you how to read your notes, and we have the time signature. The time signature here, which you may have already learned, is four, four. What that tells us is that there are four beats per measure. That's why we're always counting to four right now. And a quarter note gets one beat. So. We also have sharps, flats, and naturals, but those don't really pertain to anything that we're playing quite yet. They will be important later on. Let's go right ahead to number 11. Look at that. We have a repeat sign. We go back and repeat the music. Here we go, sitting up straight. One, two, three. 
There you go. Notice anything about that one? Yes, you're correct. It is the same as number 10, the Fab Five. Very well done. Okay, let's do number 12, first flight. Again, this has a repeat sign. So, here we go, sitting up straight. We'll count ourselves in, breathe on four. One, two, three. There you go. Great job. Let's do number 13. This is called Essential Elements Quiz, and they ask you to write in the remaining note names before you play it. So I'll let you do that on your own. We're just going to play it together. Notice there is a repeat sign, so what are we going to do? Go back and play it again. Here we go, sitting up straight. One, two, three. Great job. There we have it. Page number five. I'll see you on the next page.